Hi, this is Shah Darby. In this video, I'll give you an introduction to Java Servlets. We'll also configure Eclipse to make use of the Glassfish server. You can use Java Servlets to build web applications. So basically, your Java Servlet's going to generate HTML content on the fly for a given request. On this diagram here, we show you how a web browser makes a request to a server and then it passes it on to a servlet container. Then our servlet can take that request data coming in, perform some operations on it, and then send back a servlet response. So this servlet response will be our HTML that we generate dynamically based on the request. And that HTML eventually goes all the way back to the web browser. And that's the basic data flow of a client servlet interaction. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our first servlet. We're going to have this very simple servlet called Find Books Servlet. All it's going to do is simply return a string to the user when they make a request for this servlet. All right, so let's start with the coding. At the beginning, we have at web servlet, and in quotes here, we give slash books. That's the actual context path that we'll use for accessing the servlet. Then we have the actual Java code. So we have public class Find Books Servlet extends HTTP servlet. Then what we do is we overwrite the doGet method. So here, this servlet's going to handle all of the get requests that come in for this servlet. So the do get method has two parameters being passed in. It has a request and a response. Inside of the code here for the print writer, I'm going to say print writer out equals response.getWriter. So this basically gives me a handle back to the web browser. So this is what I can use to send data back to the browser. And so I'll use that on the next line. I'll say out.println and I'll give hello from fine books. And this string can be anything. I could put some HTML in here if I'd like, but here we're just keeping it simple. And uh, that's it for the servlet. So we simply compile it and we deploy it on the application. Then at the bottom here, we give you the actual URL that you can use to access this servlet. So let's say, for example, our, um, our server is running on uh, port 8080 on our local machine. So I could say localhost colon 8080 slash lesson 26 and then slash books. So the slash books piece, this maps to the annotation that we had on the first line of this file up at the beginning where we had the at web servlet slash books. That's how those two items match up and link. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna configure Eclipse to use Glassfish. So the first thing I'll do is I'll click the Java EE tab in the top right corner. Then I'll go to the Eclipse marketplace and I'll, and I'll find uh, components here to make use of Glassfish. So I'll just choose Help Marketplace. And in the Find window, I'll type in Glassfish and hit Enter. And it should go off and find some Glassfish tools for me. Since I'm using Glassfish for Luna, I'll go ahead and select this option and I'll click Install. And give it a second, it's going to go and load some things from the server. Uh, we'll go ahead and accept the Glassfish tools for Luna. And then I'll click Confirm. And now it's going to download some more components. At this point, accept the license agreement and hit Finish. And I'll go through and install some more software. So I'll come back once the software installs complete. All right, so we've installed the software. So at the bottom here, we're going to add a new server. So we're basically going to connect Eclipse to Glassfish. So I'll select the link there to add new servers. Under the folders here, I'll choose Glassfish 4. I'll keep the other defaults and hit Next. And then I basically have to tell it where my Glassfish server is installed. So if you've been following along with the videos, uh, you have it installed on your local computer. So I have it in my rocks directory. Uh, there's a directory here called Glassfish 4 and then the Glassfish subdirectory. I'll select that and hit open here. And so at that point, Eclipse now knows where my Glassfish server is located. I'll click next. Um, on this slide here regarding some of the server details, I'll just go ahead and keep all of the uh, defaults and I'll hit finish. Now that I have the server configured, what I want to do is actually start the server. So I'll just right click here and I will say start. And this will actually start the Glassfish server for me. So you'll see a lot of chatter in the background in the console window and so on. But eventually at the end, the Glassfish server will start up successfully 
and you'll see the status here in the GUI. Okay, great. So now that the server started, now what we're going to do is create a new web project. So basically what I'll do here is I'll just right click. I'll say new dynamic web project. And so for the name of the project, I'll give it lesson 26 demo. And I'll keep all of the other defaults here on the screen. And I'll just hit the finish button. So this will create a very basic web template for me for a Java web project. So I can expand the window here over on the left hand side. I can go look into the web content directory. And I can see it creates two folders for me, meta-inf, which has basic just manifest information, and web-inf, which has very basic config information. But that's the basic shell here for my application right now. Okay, great. So now that our project is set up, we want to actually add some code here. So we're going to add a new servlet. So I'll just right click. I'll say new servlet. So for this servlet's package name, we'll give it com.practicaljava lesson 26. And for the actual class name, we'll give it find books servlet. And we'll click the next button. So here we can set up the URL mappings. So I'll click the edit button and I'll change it to slash books. So that's the actual pattern that we'll use to map to this actual servlet. So now I'll click next. On this screen, I'll keep all of the other defaults and then I'll hit finish. All right, so Eclipse will generate a basic servlet for us called Find Books Servlet. So let me just clean up the screen here. So we have our annotation that we saw from the slides, web servlet slash books, and we have our Find Books Servlet that extends HTTP servlet. What I'd like to do is focus on this do get method because this servlet is going to handle get request. So this do get method has two parameters being passed in. It has a um, servlet request and also a servlet response. So what I like to do inside of here is actually get the print writer out and that's going to be based on the response.getwriter. So again, remember, this is our handle to connect to the actual browser or send data back to the browser. So then I'll use that out object and I'll say out.println hello from find books. And I'll just save that. And I'll clean up the imports here for the print writer reference. Okay, and I'll just step back a bit and I'll just highlight this do get method. So that's basically all of the new coding that we added here for this servlet. All right, so let's go ahead and run our servlet. So we can right click, we can select run as, and then we choose run on server. And it will ask us which server to run it on. And we'll use the Glassfish 4 server that we already have started and configured. And I'll check the option here to always use this server for this project, just so I don't have to answer the question again. And I'll hit finish. And so now in the bottom right, you can see it's doing a publish to Glassfish. And then effectively, it'll show a new browser window that will show the output of this servlet. So it says hello from Find Books. And also notice the URL, lesson 26 demo slash books. So that all maps out properly. What I'd like to do is just copy this URL and then drop it into a regular web browser so I can test it out. So here I'll just right, right click and I'll do a paste and hit enter. And now it says hello from Find Books. And what I'll do is I'll just increase the font of my browser just so you can see it a little bit better. But effectively here we have that same message, hello from Find Books. So our servlet's working just fine and we can access it from any web browser. Good job. Well, that wraps up our video. In this video, I gave you an introduction to Java servlets. We also configured Eclipse to use the Glassfish server.